Hey guys, welcome to this lesson for Google SketchUp for schools. Today we're going to be designing a small pirate ship. And so when you look at this ship here, you see that it has some portholes and some other components, including a plank. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is going up to our menu. We're going to select new. Once it opens up that new file, you're going to go up to where it says untitled and you're going to type in the title of your project. So for us, we're going to be naming it Small Pirate Ship Project. So once you do that, it's going to open up your Google Drive. You're going to select the file where you want to save it. For us, it's going to be SketchUp Projects. We're going to hit Select. And now we're ready to start designing. So the first thing we're doing is selecting our rectangle tool. And we're going to draw a rectangle that is 16 feet by 12 feet. So 16 feet, notice the foot symbol, comma, space, 12 feet. Once you do that, you're hitting enter. That gives us our initial rectangle. Then we're going to come back over here and we're going to use our pan tool to go up to the top of that rectangle. We're going to select the line tool and now we're, we're going to find our midpoint and we're going to draw an eight foot line so eight feet enter again come back over here to the pan tool find the end point select your line tool one more time and then from the end point to the corner which is another end point of your rectangle you're going to make a triangle and you're going to do the same thing on the other side and so that's this is the initial shape of our hull of our pirate ship so the next tool we're going to use is our eraser tool, and we're going to erase those lines that are on the inside. So now we have the, the basic shape of our pirate ship. We're going to use our pan to center ourselves. And now we are going to go to the push-pull tool, and we're going to push this up one foot, comma, six inches. Make sure you press that shift and get that double quotation mark or the inch symbol and hit enter. Now that you have your initial shape, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select this entire shape. So we're gonna click on this until the entire shape is selected. Now you wanna make sure that the entire shape is selected. So you're gonna click on it three times. And so you see how it's all highlighted blue. Next, I'm gonna to go to my move tool I'm going to go to the corner right here and I'm going to make sure I'm on the blue axis and I'm going to move this up six feet. All right, now that we're here, now we're going to go back to our orbit tool. We're going to orbit down to the bottom so that way we can see the bottom of our ship. Now I'm going to go back to where the push pull was and I'm going to be going to the offset for the first time. So we are going to be using the offset tool quite a bit in this project. So we're going to select the offset and here on the bottom, we're going to draw a rectangle and that is going to be one foot offset. So one foot enter. Now the next part is going to be a little bit confusing. So you're going to have to listen to my words. So you're going to select the move tool. And here in the center of the offset where it says on face, you're going to be clicking your left mouse key, holding it down, hitting the control key, and then the alt key. And this is going to let you pull your pirate ship shape down. And you're going to pull that down to six feet, as close to six feet as you can. If you can get exactly six feet, that's awesome. Uh, for us, I'm happy with six feet and one quarter inch. No issues. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate around. I'm going to make sure that the geometry of my pirate ship looks correct on all angles, and it does. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our move key, and we're going to take the front of that pirate ship just here on the face, on the midpoint, and I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to pull that out to where it's about seven feet. If I hit seven 
feet. There we go. All right, so now we're at seven feet out, and that gives us our basic shape for our pirate ship. So the next thing we're doing is going back over to our orbit tool, and we're going to orbit on top. And if you need to use the pan to get over, you can. Okay, so the next tool we're using is we're going back to our offset, and this time we're going to offset three inches. So three, and then use your shift key to get that inch measurement and you're going to hit enter. Once you have that, you're going to go back to your line tool and you're going to find the midpoint on that interior line. So it says midpoint and we're drawing a line from midpoint to midpoint, dividing our ship in half. So the next tool that we're going to be using is going back to where it says offset. We're going to select our push pull tool again and we're going to push that interior down one foot six inches one foot comma six inches hit the enter and now we're good to go so now that we have a, a shape of our ship it's coming along pretty good now we're going to work on the captain's quarters so we're going to go back to our push pull tool and here in the center we're going to start pulling it up but then we're going to hit the control key and that is going to add a second layer. And as we pull it up, we're going to pull it up six feet at the enter. That's a very important part. And if you don't hit that control key, it's not going to give you that second layer. And, and that will really mess up the next part of our project. So we're going back over here to where our push pull is. We're going to be selecting our offset again. Go ahead and use our, your orbit key to scroll around. And now from here, you're going to be making a square and you're going to be doing six inches, six inches. Okay. Now you're going back over to your push pull and you're going to push that through and you're going to push it all the way to where it says on edge. And you see how it has a red square. When you let that go, it's going to disappear and that's going to hollow out. So now you're going to scroll around and you're going to do that on the, on the, both sides of these crew quarters so or the captain's quarters so you're going to go back here you're going to type in six inches again hit enter and you're going to do the same thing and you go back to the push pull and you're going to push that through on the face until it says on edge on the interior edge and so now Let's go to the other side and we'll we'll come back to that side no problem okay so we're gonna do the same thing on this side we're gonna go back to our offset six inches enter go back to our push pull and this time let's rotate around a little bit and we're gonna push it in until it okay so the I'm going to try that again. Okay, so we're going to try this one more. What we're going to do is we're going to give those captain's quarters a little bit of a roof pitch. And so we're going to go back over here to our line tool. Up here on the top, we're going to find that midpoint again. We're going to go midpoint to midpoint, draw that line. Go back to your, your move tool, and you're going to pull that up three feet. All right, so here we have our basic pirate ship shape. So now that we have our basic ship, ship shape done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here to my move tool, and on the back side, I'm going to pull these. I'm going to pull this out and this one, just giving that shape a little bit more of a ship shape on the back side. All right, so now the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some components, okay? And so this is the first time we've done this one. And so we're going to go back over to our shapes where it says rectangles. You're going to select the circle shape. And so we're going to start here on the face, and we're going to draw a circle that is 12 inches. So go ahead and do 12 inches. 
And so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to have our select tool. We're going to select that shape. We're going to right click on that shape. And let's see what we can do here. So we're going to double click. Never mind. Double click and then make a component. So you're going to double left click, not right click. Double left click, make component. We're going to name this component porthole. And we're going to press OK. So now that we have our portholes done, so we're going to have our porthole selected. We're going to hit the control key. Select the center and drag. So that move, that control key pushes it to a copy. Now we can move that anywhere onto our boat. And so we're going to do that again. We're going to be here in the center. Make sure you're in center on face. Hit the control key and copy. And so now you're going to make a total of five portholes on your boat. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to go up to our circle again. And so when we're inside this, when we're in this, we're going to double click on that. And so now what we can do is we can edit our porthole. Okay, so we're going to go back over here to our circle. And we're going to... Oh, that was not the right thing I wanted to do. Let's go to the offset. So let's do an offset. And so the good thing about a component is as you're offsetting, it adds it to all of your components. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our push pull and we're going to pull that out two inches. And then we're going to pull the inside out one inch Give a little bit of an offset. Next thing we want to do is we want to come over here to our materials tab. We're going to look on our brows and we're going down to glass. So we're going to put some mirrored glass on top of our, our portholes. And then we're going to color the outside of our portholes with a dark gray. And so that is our pirate ship with our portholes. And so now we're going to go back over to the select key. And we, when we click off of that, now it has completed the component portion of our pirate ship. So the next thing that we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be making our plank. And so when we come over to this side, we're going to do it onto the starboard side. And so we're going to position our pirate ship so that way we can see the top of this area right here. We're going to come to our line tool and we're going to make on edge lines, two lines from edge to edge. The distance does not matter. And so now once we do that, we're going to push this down to the end. Okay. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to push it down to the past to the edge and now we're going to take the inside portion and we're going to pull this out okay so let's do this let's pull this make sure we push this down to the edge oh uh, make sure you have the right one selected and so now you can pull this out and we're going to pull this out at six feet now we have a six foot plank off our starboard bow all right so now we're going to make the cannon portholes and so what we're going to do is up here on the front of our bow we're going to do the same thing we're going to make a couple of a couple of portholes not portholes but areas for our cannons and so again you're going to draw and so look where the direction is that you want Okay, think about the size. So let's do, uh, let's undo that one right there. So I want to do one right here. And make sure that they are going into the direction that you want them to go. And so same thing goes, you're going to take your push pull and you're going to pull that, push that down. 
just to the edge. And you're going to come on the other side and you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to try to use your, we know that we were on that midpoint on that one. And then this one was about right here. Same thing goes, push, pull, and make sure you have it on the right face and push it down. All right, so now we are ready to add our color. So we're gonna go back over here to our materials. We're gonna come down until we find our wood color. And we're gonna pick a wood color that we like. And we're just gonna go all the way around that boat on all the faces, making sure that we hit with our color. Okay, and on the inside right here, I'm going to color that one black. You can color it whatever color you like. And on the interior, I'm going to keep that as a wood color, though. Now, on the top here, I'm going to put some shingles. So I'm going to scroll back up to where we have where it has shingles, so bricks, cladding, siding. Let's see if we can find our shingles here. Roofing right here. Okay, so I'm gonna add some roofing. Let's look, uh, let's add these to that color. Then we still got some more faces that we gotta do. All right, so our pirate ship's looking pretty good. And you can go through and you can add all the little faces as we go through it, right? All right, so pirate ship's looking pretty colored now. So now we're going to add the only component that I'm concerned with, and that's the steering wheel. And then we'll add a small pirate flag, okay? So what I'm going to have you guys do is you're going to go scroll your pirate ship to where the center is right here. You're going to go back over here. You're going to close up your materials. You're going to go to your components. Now your components is this triple box. You're going to type in for schools. Steering wheel. Oh, there's one. Okay, so I'm going to bring this one in. I think this one would probably be better. There we go. That one looks better. Delete. And I'm going to move this one into place where I like it. There we go. Okay, and then the last thing that you can do is you can add a pirate flag, right? So go back up here. You can type in pirate flag. And there's a lot of different flags that are available. So let's move this over here to the front. Get it prepared. Again, this is the pirate flag by Grenville. Okay. And so you're going to come over here to the front. Get this thing placed where you want it. So once I get this into the front, then I can use my rotate tool. So I'm going to take this, put it up here. Now I'm going to use my rotate tool again. So I'm going to go back over here to my rotate tool. I'm going to select the rotate. And then I'm going to move this pirate flag. So it's rotated. And I'm going back over to move and then put it into its final position. There we go. All right. So. That is our pirate ship. If you want to make that flag bigger, of course, you can always do that. You can always go to the first thing you do is select it. Next thing you do is to go to your move, go to your scale tool, and then we can make this thing bigger. Okay, unselect it, go back. So we're selecting the 
pirate flag. And this is the problem with sometimes with SketchUp is makes it a little bit difficult. That's okay. Sometimes nothing's easy, right? And we'll call that good enough. Okay, so that is the pirate ship. Hope you guys had fun with it. You can go back and you can always add or take away, right? Maybe the last thing you can do is move. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Maybe the last thing you can do is select Freddy over here and move him up onto your pirate ship's deck, right? And see if your scale is correct. Let's do that back. pretty good there we go all right he is centered he is ready and we are done all right so let's scroll let's orbit back around hit my select and that is the pirate ship so you can always add a pirate mast if you want if you want to add a flagpole if you want to add uh, any other uh, little pieces that's going to make your pirate ship look a little bit better but uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this project. I know there, there was a little bit of uh, some mix-ups here, but uh, that's part of the learning process, right? Sometimes you have to go with the flow. Okay, guys, have a good one. Oh, the last thing that we got to do before, before we end is hit save, right? So as you guys are going through, make sure that you are saving your projects and then you should be good. Have a good day.